So today I'm going to be making a video on how to install Varian Vagrant Vagrants. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful, so most people just refer to it as VVV. Um, basically, VVV is a local development environment for WordPress, um, and it's kind of used by the core WordPress contributors uh, to actually work on and develop uh, WordPress as a platform, um, which is great because it's kind of reproducible environment. You can spin it up from a config. But it's also really good if you're a WordPress developer because you can easily kind of create local WordPress sites that you can work on and there's a lot of tools that can kind of help with that. Um, it's a little bit different to um, other kind of local development tools that you might have heard of like MAMP Pro or maybe that you've used in the past. Um, and there's quite a lot of arguments for why you'd want to use something like this and maybe it's a little bit overkill. Uh, but personally, over the last couple of years, I've really enjoyed using this. Um, mostly because of a, it becomes like a local environment that you can use offline. Um, the tools that are packaged with it, such as MailHog, that kind of catch local mail, and also the ease of use of just spinning up multiple WordPress sites when you need it. Um, but all of the kind of advantages of it are covered uh, kind of elsewhere online. And even on the, if you go to the varying vagrant, vagrants.org, like their kind of website or their GitHub page, they, they cover why you'd want to use something like this and maybe when it's appropriate to use a different tool. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll just get started and I'll show you kind of how to set it up on a new machine. So uh, a Vagrant box is basically like a local um, virtual server. So you'll need something called virtual machine, uh, or sorry, virtual box um, to actually get up and running with it. And this kind of creates like a, a little Ubuntu server on your Mac that you then connect to um, and install the WordPress sites on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually start installing the prerequisites from here. So getting started. So I'm just going to go and install VirtualBox, which is the virtual machine um, software. And you can now see that that's installed. So I, I do actually think that um, you would ever need to use the VirtualBox kind of GUI because um, the actual um, Vagrant tool, which is kind of the tool that you use for spinning up um, the VVV box or virtual machines kind of handles that for you. So I'm just going to close that down and I'm going to go back to this page. And the next tool we need is Vagrant, which is kind of the um, provisioning tool that's used to set up these virtual machines. So I'm just going to give that an install as well. Great, so um, if we now open up our terminal, and if I put in vagrant-v, you can see that vagrant's actually installed there. Um, if you get like vagrant not found or something like that, it might be worth uh, opening and closing your terminal or trying to install vagrant again, because something may have gone wrong there. Um, so next, we're going to get the actual um, kind of plugin that's required for this. Um, and basically this uh, Vagrant host updater plugin is just used to um, actually kind of update the local host file whenever you make changes to your um, Vagrant configuration. Um, so for example, it will allow things like vvv.test or your website.test to actually resolve to the local um, server uh, rather than trying to go out to the internet. It puts it into your um, forward slash etc forward slash host file um, if you've ever had to update that before um, so cool I'm just going to install that great so that's installed now it's asking to reboot um, but I've never really had any issues with this before um, just to be safe it might be worth doing but I'm just going to move straight on to the next bit which is actually uh, installing the um, the actual Vagrant configuration. So here they actually have a couple of options. Um, so with Git um, or without Git, um, it's going to be a lot easier to do this with um, the Git version control package. Um, most computers uh, they actually come with this now, like the most up-to-date versions of the kind of uh, of the Mac OS. Um, I think the only thing you have to do is agree to the um, Xcode 
uh, license agreement to use it, but um, to check if it's installed, just open up your terminal and just type in GIT, press enter. Um, if it says uh, git not found, or it asks you to go through the process of installing that Xcode plugin and accepting the agreement, um, you can do that. Um, you can install that by just typing in git into Google, you'll be able to find it. Uh, if it's installed, it means we can actually move on to the next bit, which is installing VVV using git. So um, I'm just gonna grab this command um, and I'm just gonna go through this here. So git clone master, and then this is the actual um, git repository for the VVV project. And then this bit at the end is the only bit that you may want to change. So this is kind of um, where Vagrant will actually be installed from and uh, where you'll launch it from. Um, so at the moment it's gonna um, put the virtual machine uh, or well, the kind of configuration package um, at vagrant-local. Um, I normally, you can put, kind of put it wherever you want, um, but I normally just set it to VVV because I find it very easy to kind of just press, uh, put in the location of VVV. So I'm just gonna clone that there. You can see it's cloning to users, Chris, VVV, just downloading all that. Cool, and then I'm just gonna go to that location. And I've got an uh, unrelated error there, but um, just something to do with it not a uh, file being missing from my uh, configuration. Um, but yeah, so, and uh, in here you can see we've got um, quite a few different bits. Uh, I'll actually open that up to show you. Um, so basically there's a www directory and this is where your um, WordPress sites will go. Um, so this is kind of where you'd look for them. And there's a couple of other things like there's a vvv-config uh, YAML file a vagrant file, which is actually where it will kind of configure the virtual box from. So you can see that uh, this is actually, I think, in uh, uh, written in Ruby. Um, and then after we've actually um, kind of got this up and running, provisioned it, there'll be a couple other files that we'll need. Um, but yeah, it's worth having a look through here. Like the when you sh shut down the virtual machine, your databases get kind of backed up to here. Um, and there's a couple of other things that are worth looking at, like uh, in the config, if you ever need to put in like a custom nginx settings there's they're, they're kind of here for each site uh, but maybe i'll go through that in a future video um, so for now i'm just going to carry on working through the install of this so we've got this installed and it's saying to do a copy of the vvv config um, to vvv custom and this is just because um, this is where we'll put our uh, the, the actual sites that we want to set up um, so i'm just going to make a copy of that so you can either do that in your text editor or um, uh, so VVV config, I can just du duplicate this. Or you could do it in terminal if you wanted to. And now um, we've got kind of our options for the site. So I'll just get these up and running. Um, so I, you can kind of see what it looks like, uh, like Vagrant looks like working. And then after that, I'll show you how to add your own kind of custom sites here. So uh, what I'm looking for here is that it will create a one dot wordpress dot test and a two dot wordpress dot test and these will kind of just have um just a blank wordpress installation on them so i'm just going to go back to our um terminal here and our in our vvv location and i'm just going to run vagrant up and this actually tries to um kind of boot up our virtual machine for the first time and as the uh, machine doesn't exist it will start actually setting that up um, depending on your internet speed, this can take a while uh, to do. So um, I, I normally just leave this for kind of up to 20 minutes to actually download the box and provision it and set it all up. So now you can see um, Vagrant has finished installing and it's given us this little message here where it says, thank you for using Vagrant um, to test go to vvv.test. So uh, if, you, if I hold down command here, I can actually click on that URL. And this is a little local web page um, which kind of lists your sites. Um, so you can see it's kind of got the WordPress 1 that it was setting up, the WordPress 2, which we saw in the vvv.custom YAML file. Um, so that's these two here. Um, and any other sites we create will go in here as well. Um, so on the right hand side here, there's actually the tools that I was talking about at the beginning. Um, so things like Mailhog, 
Um, so you can see while it was creating those websites there and it actually sent two emails and it, it captured them in Mailhog here. So I can actually see them. And this is like really useful for um, when you're developing WordPress sites where you need to use uh, mail like contact form seven and things like that. You can like capture and test the mail in here. Um, and there's also like PHP my admin here um, where you can actually log in the default details, WP, WP. Um, you can find the kind of login details and everything you need within the documentation here. I think there's actually a page um, utilities that actually lists these. Um, but anyway, I will just show you how to set up um, like a just a fresh WordPress site here so that you can actually get developing. So to create a new site, I'm just gonna take a copy of this. And then uh, I'm gonna change this to um, the directory that I want the uh, site to be in. Uh, so I'm just gonna change that to foobar. And then uh, I'm gonna uh, remove this skip provisioning flag um, because we want it to provision, we want to install. This description is what's shown in the uh, VV test dashboard. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly uh, change this to example site. Um, this is the uh, template that it uses to create the site. So it's worth keeping this. Um, uh, you can kind of, you could fork this and create your own um, if you were gonna be creating a lot on the same site. And this is the domain name, and it's going to be host style. So I'm going to change that to foobar. So now in our VVV directory, I'm just going to run vagrant reload provision. And you always have to reprovision uh, kind of after you've run uh, or made any changes to the VVV custom.yaml file. And this one actually kind of reloads the um, site. So I'm just going to run that. So now that that's finished, um, if we actually look up here, you can see it actually creating our site dash foobar here. Um, so it grabs the um, configuration files from this Git repo, then it downloads WordPress, uh, it creates the file, creates the database, downloads WordPress, and kind of sets it all up using the um, information that we set in the YAML file. And it's just quite uh, quite good to see here. Um, WordPress is installed with the username admin and password, password, um, with the email address admin at local.test. So just in case you need that, obviously for our first time login. So now if we go to our VVV test, we can see there's now a foobar um, and our example site. And if we click on here, there is a blank WordPress site here. Um, so we uh, should be able to log into it here. Let's go to WP admin, admin, password, as it said in the console. And there we go. We've just set up a new WordPress site. Um, and you can, the, the great thing about this is that you could go to your www, find foobar, And then let's put it into the public HTML. If I open that up in Sublime Text or your ID, whatever ID you're in, you can just start um, editing the themes, plugins, and those changes are like right there. Um, and if you needed access to the actual uh, server that it's running on, it's local, so you can just run Vagrant SSH, and it will actually take you into the Ubuntu server, um, which you have running locally. So. Um, you can actually see, there we go. Um, and uh, this has like a WP command line interface and things like that installed. So if you needed to um, say, create a new user from the command line interface or scaffold out a load of pages, you could do that. Um, so yeah, I hope hopefully this video has been useful. Um, I know that there's kind of a lot of changes coming out for uh, the Vagrant well, VVV projects um, at the moment. They've just hit version three um, and there's kind of a lot of contributors to this. Um, so I think this is definitely the way to go when it comes to your WordPress development.